Hey, hey, it's Michael. Welcome to another video. This time I will show you how to use, as I call it, dynamic report. So I'm going to show you how to integrate Jira and Confluence together. This is actually great, great, great stuff because Jira, when Jira is connected to Confluence, you can feed the data from Jira and create as the dynamic report. So there's no really such thing. It's a macro, but it's very cool. And I am sure if you, if you use, especially Jira before, you will, you will really, really like it. All right, let's do it. But before we're going to do it, I have to show you if, well, I have to actually let you know, and you need to check if your Confluence or Jira is connected. If your Confluence is connected to Jira or Jira is connected to Confluence, yeah, because it is very, very important. Otherwise, of course, you know, this functionality is not going to work. So, but if you do not, do not have it, those two uh, softwares together, don't worry, they are absolutely free. And yes, I am using free version of both softwares. Right, let's do it super, super, super quickly. Right, so before we actually start creating our first JQL, we need to find out if Confluence is connected to Jira. And by the way, also this training is not about the JQL. You do not really need to use JQL. It, you, you can use a quick filter, well, a filter basically, a quick filter, the filter. Um, but if you're looking for a training about the basic functionality of the Confluence, you're gonna find this link in the description also to the JQL. But, and, and don't worry, I'm going to paste copy so you can copy paste. I paste it into description so you can basically copy and, and use it. And yes, this is actually real life example. So let's point one start from very <laughs> important actually question. And uh, we need to answer our, our question if our Confluence is connected to Jira. How to do it? So in Confluence, on the top menu, we not, we're going to navigate to the chessboard. And if you're gonna see the Jira on the list, that's mean you're cool. You, we are connected, yeah. So, so if you actually switch to them, there you go. I actually see my project inside Jira, and of course, you know, from Jira, you're gonna see Confluence on the list. And to be actually uh, fair, I <sighs> well, let's say like this. Yes. He, I found, I think, a uh, thread on the forum that saying if your Confluence and Jira are using different accounts, there is somehow possibility to link them together. But I don't know anything about this, so I'm not going to show you how to do it because I've never actually tried that. So anyway, if, for example, you do not have a Jira link to Confluence, you can navigate to this chessboard, again, left, left hand side, and if you go, where is this? More Atlassian products, go, navigate to more Atlassian products. And I believe you're gonna find the Jira like somewhere, somewhere over here. So you're gonna try it now. And as I told you, this, this is actually both, both software is using a free version. So you don't have to pay anything for that. Okay, we're great. So now step two is, of course, you need some kind of space. So I have this demo space, which I've been just creating a few minutes ago. And what I need to do, if I navigate to the spaces, so the spaces to the pages, I need new page. So I'm going to call it somehow, I'm going to call it demo filter from Jira, if I can spell it, some text here. And I'm going to stop it for, for a moment right here. Right, so now it's a good time to move to Jira. And by the, oh, and by the way, I think I forgot to tell you, uh, if the Jira is connected in that global way to, 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 to Confluence, I don't really think it is, uh, and it, it matters any, if the project in Confluence or in project in Jira is connected somehow to Confluence. It was like this before, historically. At the moment, I believe it is in a global way. So it doesn't really matter if you want to, for instance, import that project um, GQL filters to any space. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter. Of course, no. if you have a paid version, permissions could be, could be the issue, but I do not have any advanced permissions. That's why I will be able to do it. So now let's navigate to our Jira. And by the way, as I told you, this is not about the JQL, but I will, sh I will actually show you what I what I did. Uh, so how to get to this actually screen? You're going to go into projects, 
select any project. In my case, it is actually SSB as always, and uh, you're gonna find them under issues. There you go. And that JQL, <laughs> let me explain you, super simple. By the way, as I, as I said before, you don't really have to use JQL, you can use the basic uh, functionality, but I'm highly, highly encourage you to actually use it because this is great. And because it's a real life example, so let me explain you what is the purpose of that. My boss asked me, hey, I, can you provide me a list of all issues created for SSB project in within five days, like for the last five days. So yes, I can. you can see there's 150, but let's assume it's five. It's five. Why? Because I do not have that much data. It's a demo project, so I don't actually. So let's assume it's not 150, but it is five. And as you can actually see, I have 58 or sorry, like 88 tickets. Oh my God, it is actually a lot. Let me actually see if I will be able to reduce it a little bit because it is maybe too much. All right, that, that's still fine. That's still fine. Maybe only three tickets for the last five days has been created because it doesn't really matter too much. If it's too many, it's also not great because it will, uh, that, that report is gonna make pretty much long one. So let's assume we've got our five days and only three tickets has been created. Maybe in your case will be hundred. It doesn't really matter too much. So what the GQL is doing? project equals SSB and create date equals, yes, minus. So create date, create date, that's, that's very important, is uh, more equal than minus, in my case, 130, but in your case could be minus five days. So, so minus is, is in the past five days. Right, so our JQL is prepared, you know, maybe, maybe you want to add something more sophisticated, like you say issue type, yeah, add maybe issue uh, type equals story, for example, it's going to be one only. So I'm not going to, by the way, do it, but in your case, if, the, if you're actually thinking about only stories, please add this to the JQL. All right, I'm going to search it. It's only three. Great. So step one is completed. So what we have to do now, absolutely must have, is to save it. Why? Because it's going to be easier for us to, to, to explore it. We, we can actually copy paste the whole JQL, but please follow my steps because this is the easiest way. So we have to save it somehow. How to save it? You're going to go over here and uh, over here, of course, <laughs> referring to the right hand side and go into the save filter. So again, I have to call it somehow because I've got so many filters. So I'm going to call it with the explanation mark just for myself. So my demo all created five days. I'm assuming it's five days and I'm going to save that. Great. And something interesting happens if I click on that filter. There you go. So filter is called the url also been updated to this filter but this is very very important why because we're gonna now in our step i don't know step three or four copy the whole url so just use Control c on the keyboard or copy and now you're gonna navigate to jira yes jira you navigate to confluence to our demo space and I, you know, maybe you've got more text, maybe you've got some tables, pictures, whatever you want. I've got a very blank page. So I'm going to hit enter and now I'm going to do control V before it was working fine. Excellent. It works fine. Look at this, how quick you can generate that report in, in Confluence. And I'm going to publish it. Great. Look at this, how cool it is. I really, really like this functionality. And as I told you, this is actually pretty much dynamic report. Why? Because everything what you're seeing on this screen is feeding live from Jira. Obviously, you have to like refresh, not like on the fly, but let's actually, let's, I'm going to demonstrate you. So if you're going to go to SSB 35, and at the moment the status is to do. So I'm going to, actually, you can go left click, but I'm going to right, right click and use the tab. So look at this, it's going to directly point me to Jira. And I'm going to move this into whatever, you know, in review. Doesn't matter too much. So as you can see, the status has been changed. I'm going to move back to my previous tab. And of course, nothing happens here because as I told you, this is not on the fly. But if you hit F5 or refresh, oh, there you go. It is changing that status when you're going to refresh it. 
But let's have a little bit more fun with this, you know, because as I told you, you can do a few extra bits with this. So again, we're going to go to edit. And first of all, you can manipulate that that view over here. So maybe, you know, maybe you're going to go like oh, this or might a bit like that, you know, look at this. I'm going to save this. It's like really narrow. Yeah. Cool. But maybe I would like to do a few more bits with this. So I would like to show you how to modify actually the elements on this on this actually screen yeah so we're going to go again to edit and what what i'm talking about what elements so again i'm going maybe white why not maybe like this and i would say my boss doesn't really care about the summary yeah he only wants to know that even he does know he doesn't need to know about the key we only would like to present like the most important information. So, okay, let's maybe leave the key. Let's remove summary. Let's remove resolution and let's remove due date because as you can see, it is blank at the moment. So how to do it? Again, you have to make sure you're in the edit mode, highlight that macro because it is macro and you go to edit and from the screen, we're going to options and by the way as i told you this is actually filter so like like a little bit little bit uh just to, just to show you this is a filter on 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 uh, our actually id of the filter which is of course copy paste and as i told you this is the easiest way because why you can also develop jql in Jira, copy into the confluence paste this and it's going to do exactly the same but there is little little issue so confluence is not like going to help you like jira so like, for instance, I'm going to go create, it's like helping you yeah, to, to, to add the stuff Jira. Yeah. But Confluence, no, it's not going to happen. That's why my method with the filter, I believe it's better. But anyway, so now let's focus on the display. So you go to display and as you can see, we've got also maximum results because maybe in your case, you don't have a five or six, you, maybe you've got a uh, 50 and you want to put it, everything on the one page. So by default, please remember, it will be 20. But we're going to focus on the display. So as I told you, we would like to remove key, due date, and maybe we don't really care about whatever, something like random priority. And look at this. Now I'm going to go for insert, realigned, publish. There you go. And of course, you now if you've got more text, don't forget that you can go to meatballs and produce PDF for your boss where it is export export to pdf and by the way pdfs in confluence they're really great they're really really great yep so it is actually doing doing you can download it open oh it looks great i'm so happy <laughs> okay so i'm gonna go back to my pages uh filter there you go so that's going to be it. And please, if you're looking for help, you're going to find something in the description. This, 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 this video tutorial is part of my training course. All right. So that's it for now. And if you've got any questions, please leave the comment. Thank you so much.